Hello, my name is Eva Salier, and this is Anxiety Art Episode 2, Sad Mad. Um, I painted this and I was really, really upset. I was so upset that I had to do, like, the voiceover part later. Anyways, if you got this far in the video, or if you just hit play or whatever, please subscribe to my channel and like this and comment. If you comment, I will go look at your content. So please, um, take take part in my channel and interact with my stuff. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Okay, so had some coffee and getting my stuff out. I got a Sharpie. Some, um, a friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of already painted on canvases. So I knew I was in a really bad mood when I made this art. So I just grabbed the closest thing I could find, which was this perfectly good canvas with a perfectly good painting on it but I knew I wanted to use it and go over it so my favorite thing to do is paint heads and swirling hair so you know a lot of times when I look at a painting I can see a head in it <laughs> so this is just me using a straight up sharpie to get my feelings as out as fast as I can onto the canvas so that I don't miss the vibe of how I really feel. <laughs> I find it really very comforting to push paint around on a canvas when I feel overwhelmed and, you know, stick the emotion I'm actually feeling into the art. It is so satisfying. I highly recommend it. And, uh, you see, I just did like two little vines across the hair. and It's funny, I kind of have this joke with a friend and it's like, when in doubt, do a vine. So I'm just starting to like paint it out now, right over the Sharpie, right over a fully finished painting. Grab some white, do the eyes right away. It really, it makes a painting feel like, yeah, it just comes to life right away. If you do the mouth or the eyes, it starts to like come to life. And then, um, you know, that art confidence grows, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, so this is yellow oxide. This is probably the only color in the whole painting that I'm using. Liquitex, I usually use Nova Color, but I love Liquitex's yellow oxide. I don't actually own Nova Color's yellow oxide. I just learned that they have it, so I'm going to order some. But So I mix it with the medium, so that uh, it's gloss, medium, and varnish, and I mix the paint with it so that it's really transparent so that instead of just doing a solid you know coat of something and letting the background painting show through <coughs> excuse me and um so I'm purposely letting the background color show through and I and just filling it in the hair. Pretty sure this is quinacridone teal. I will do a full um, items list or whatever you call it in the in the description. And you can see that for the face, it kind of looked like I was using a big brown brush. Um, and the hair, I was using a flat brush, and then. You know, you'll notice that as I go along, I, I'll i use one paint color, right? I, I never went to art school, so this is like how I do it. I use one paint color at a time, go across the entire painting with that color, go to the next color, and layer them. Um, sometimes I actually do mix two colors together, uh, and you'll see videos of me doing that. So here I am. And I'm really upset and I'm drawing and I'm painting these tears in with UV reactive blue so that um, if you ever hit this painting with a black light, those tears would pop. It'd be so cool. I should probably do that. I should probably do a UV reactive. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Comment if you want to see me do like a UV reactive painting and then hit it with a black light. That sounds fun. <laughs> um. So let's see, where am I? Picking all my colors. These are all Nova Color paint colors, I believe. And uh, just putting some purple on there. I knew for a fact that I wanted to do purple and blue hair and like cool colors. And also like punk, punk rock 
colors to me. And uh, this might not be punk rock to some of you guys, but you know, I, was, I, was, I lived through the 80s, and so that's a totally different kind of vibe. Just really bright colors. Speaking of bright colors, it's UV Reactive Fluorescent Pink by Nova Color Paint. And uh, I knew I wanted to do a pink stripe, and I knew I would, right when I hit the hair that I was going to do the lips too. So I got that in there. I'm one just in a bad mood and painting. Not really thinking about the colors, because I know that if I stop to think about them too much, I will stop painting, right? So this whole thing is to like, can I just kind of finish an entire painting um, sitting here? A la prima or whatever they call it. Um, I think that's what it's called. Pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, that was a little clip of me eating Starburst cotton candy. Like, that's how far off my mood was that I was just like thinking it was okay to just eat some Starburst cotton candy from 7-Eleven. Yeah, one of those days. Anyway, it didn't kill me, so I survived the cotton candy if anyone's concerned. <laughs> um, so I'm laying, layering more uh, yellow oxide. I don't know, I'm just kind of picking some highlight points. I'm not exactly following perfect rules here with uh, a light source. What I'm doing is just trying to create depth and layers and let kind of let the back show through and then, but also highlight the front um the face the head so i'm taking black mars black and i mix it with medium i have a really small brush i don't know it looks like a one um i'll go i'll go zero i'll i'll do really tiny brushes sometimes so i mix it with a lot of medium so it's transparent so that i can do a lot of layers um and not be committed to a full black when I lay the paintbrush down. Uh, once I start doing that, once I started doing that, my entire, all my art changed. All the depth of my art changed by just, instead of applying a solid black or solid color, apply a transparent version of it. And then just keep layering it, you know, unless you're going over straight up white. I love to add medium. It makes it glossy, but it's only because I haven't bought matte medium yet. It's literally why my paintings are more glossy right now. And uh, I'm fine with that. I love how it looks. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm just kind of cool with, like, working with what I have. And, uh, you know, I was in a bad mood. The fact that I even got any of this stuff together is a miracle in itself. But I have trained myself over the years to um, face a mood you know, with art, like, if you're mad at someone, make a song about it, make some art, if you're mad at yourself, make some art, if you feel helpless and sad, make a painting about it, like, write the words helpless and sad on a canvas, I swear, it feels so good to just, like, get it out, <laughs> I mean, this is, like, a religion to me here, like, <laughs> make weird feelings, I mean, get weird feelings, make weird art, you know, put them in a safe place. Turn your art into something that makes somebody else get through the day. Even just one little glimpse of something cool can help your day. I mean, this this painting may like maybe like an outward thing for you guys, but for me it was a really an inward thing. I was getting through a really tough emotion that I felt very stuck in, and as I got through the painting towards this point, towards the end, I started to really like, I was breathing slower, I was doing better, I was a way better off member of society, um, <laughs> after making this painting, and, you know, I just really wanted to show you all that, like, this, I did this, like, extremely upset, I called in a mega favor with my husband, and he's always down to help me, he's always you know, closing doors so that I can make art. It's something my mom did for me when I was little too, so I appreciate that the people around me help me make art. Um, definitely choose people around, around you that make you feel like you're safe to make your real art, the real art you really want to make. So anyways, back to this. I am just doing other layers of the same paint color. This is, I just lit a different um, light in my room so you guys can get a better angle on it. That's uh, actually golden brand gold because they're golden. They're gold. Their metallics are so nice. Oh my gosh. It's like being spoiled. 
Um, ooh, I'm signing it, so I'm feeling pretty confident. I usually don't sign the painting until I feel like it's really, really done. I did want to let you know, though, that um, after I had stopped the um, after I had stopped recording this, I noticed that I never painted the vines in on the hair. So uh, you'll see in the after pictures that the vines are there. Okay.